This is now my third item from Thermal Master. I've previously reviewed on the channel the P2 and the P2 Pro, and Thermal Master makes some really bold claims about really leveling up for the P3. So let's get it out, let's see what's in the box, and then let's test it back to back with some other devices. Quick start guide. That is a pretty chunky quick start guide, don't you think? Covers eight languages in there. A USB-C to USB-C extension cable with an adapter to USB-A. So you should be able to just pop that on there. And then this may work in something like a PC, laptop, etc. Okay. And the device itself. Nice hard shell carry case. Pretty compact. Oh, I'm already throwing. Oh, brilliant. So this is a lightning to USB-C connector. So this works with iPhones as well as Android phones, which is a big step up from the P2. Now the device itself has got a good metallic feel. It's got a little bit of heft to it, a bit heavier than some of the other ones. But I think from what I understand, this is the real feature. That's an adjustable lens. And there's a lot of turns to that adjustment, so we should be able to get some real fine tuning. Okay, let me install the app and then let's go and test it out. Straight away, this is such a helpful feature. I'm glad they're doing this now. They've extended the USB-C plug just a little bit, just right raising it that small amount there so that you don't have to remove your case from your phone. That just plugs in so easily. This isn't a particularly bulky case on this phone, but I have just tried this camera in three different phones that I've got here available, and it works with all three of those different types of cases. So that's a big uh, win for me straight away. Here is gonna be a rough idea of the Thermal Master P3 against one of its competitors. And of course the P3 has a variable like focal length, um, so I'm going to be interested. I've just left it and it's just fixed on the standard focal length and you'll be able to see the kind of refresh rate and the contrast. To me, looking at the screen, the Thermal Master is much uh, more purple, not as bright, but I guess that illustrates contrast better than one of its rivals, one of its competitors. Let's go for a walk. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Do you prefer the Thermal Master image? On the two screens here, side by side, it looks to be the much clearer image. And I've just left it on the normal focal length at the moment. There's my solar inverter, keeping nice and warm on a day like today. Check the MC4 connectors, make sure we got Everything running nicely. What's that down at? Ah, smart meter. And these are the new addition from EcoFlow. Now I've taken the case off my PC. And let's have a little look and try this little macro lens sort of adjustment on the closer up to the circuit board. Probably should have fitted the uh, extension cable before I start sticking my phone in there. Ah, oh, yeah. this is when it, the adjustable lens is coming to its own. Okay. Oh. Yep, <laughs> I reckon that's pretty good. The lens is still about an inch away from that chip. Yeah, significant improvement over the ones, the other ones that I've tried, especially for this kind of work. As I wrap this up then, let me know what you think about the Thermal Master P3. Is this a good enough upgrade? The little extension on the USB-C port there, compatibility with iPhones, and also the ability to 
manually focus your lens? Let me know in the comments below. And if you are interested and this review has helped, then of course, use the affiliate links. It's the only way to support the channel. Thank you very much. Goodbye.